Welcome to Lee College. My name is Michael Pound. I work in the Student Success Center here at Lee College. Today we are going to spend some time going over the Academic Requirements Tool. The Academic Requirements Tool has many helpful features such as degree audit report, the ability to view your current major, number of credits taken towards your major, and your current GPA. It also gives you the ability to help you plan or enroll into your courses. The Academics Requirement Tool is located in your MyLC campus account in the box labeled Other Academics. Once you have accessed your Academic Requirements page, you will see many options available to you. The first feature is the Degree Audit Report. The Degree Audit Report is a printed version of your Academic Requirements page, accessed by clicking on View Report as PDF. Below the View Report as PDF button, you should notice your current major is listed in the first blue heading on the page. If the major displayed is not your current major, please visit the admissions office as soon as possible to place the correct major on file as this affects such things as financial aid and course selection. Under the heading, you will see information such as the catalog year you are following, degree within the catalog, number of credits and GPA needed for completion of the degree, and your current GPA if you have one. Following your GPA, you'll see a list of satisfied and unsatisfied courses needed for the completion of your degree. Satisfied courses are courses you have received credit for and are displayed in the Academic Requirements tool with just a listing of the course. By clicking on the arrow next to the Satisfied course, you will open a box displaying the course taken to fulfill the credit requirement, the amount of credits awarded for completion of the course, the term and year the course was completed, and the final grade you received for the course. An unsatisfied course will be displayed with the course listing, a note that the course is not satisfied, the number of credits needed to satisfy the requirement, and the list of classes available to satisfy the requirement. By clicking on the highlighted description of the course, you will open the course detail page. The course detail page displays information specific to the course you have chosen, such as the amount of credit the course is worth, course components like lecture and labs, which campus the course will be held, and any prerequisites needed for entrance into the class. This is followed up with a brief course description that provides you with an overview of the course. Also located on the page is the View Class Selections button and the Add to Planner button. By clicking on the View Class Selections button, you will open the course schedule located below the course details. In the course schedule, you'll have the ability to select the term needed for enrollment by clicking on the displayed term box and selecting the appropriate term followed by clicking on the Show Selections button. Once you have selected the correct term, you will see a list of courses displayed. Search through the list and choose the course that best fits your schedule. Before selecting the course, check the status of the course by looking under the status bar for a green circle. If a blue square is indicated, the course isn't available for enrollment at the time and you will need to search for another option. Once you have found an open course to enroll into, click on the Select button. The page that will be displayed allows you to verify certain information such as course selected, course status, prerequisites needed for entrance into the course, and the amount of credits received for the course. Please note, permission numbers are not required, and you can proceed by clicking on the Next button. By clicking on the Next button, you will have added the class to your shopping cart and you will be redirected back to the course detail page. If you are not finished selecting your classes at this point, click on the Return to My Academic Requirements link, and you will be directed back to your Academic Requirements page to select another course. If you are finished selecting your courses, click on the Here button located in the green status bar, and you will be directed to your shopping cart to finish the enrollment process. This is a good time to briefly look over your course selections. Once you are satisfied and want to finish the enrollment process, select your courses by clicking on the box under the select heading and then clicking on the green enroll button. The next page to be displayed is the confirmation page. If you notice any discrepancies in your courses at this time, you can simply click the previous button to return to your shopping cart. If everything is correct, proceed by clicking on the green continue button and your tuition payment notification page will be displayed. Please look at the first sentence informing you that you are not registered for the course yet. This page also displays some key information 
such as your tuition deadline, information about payments, payment plans, and financial aid. After you have thoroughly reviewed this page, you can continue by clicking on the Continue button, which will direct you to the View Results page. The results page will display green checks for successful enrollment into your courses or red X's for unsuccessful enrollment into your courses. If you receive a red X, an error message with the reason for the unsuccessful attempt will be displayed in the message box. If you have any other questions about the processes on campus, please visit the Student Success Center. This concludes our tutorial on the Academic Requirements Tool. I hope you have found this tutorial useful and we look forward to having you here at Lee College this semester.